Hey guys, Howard Barr here, and I just wanted to help you guys out just a little bit uh, on your eBay account. Uh, some of the things that I may have made mistakes on or uh, may have a uh, challenge with, I want to make sure that uh, you guys don't. And one of the things that came across me uh, the other day after I made a sale was uh, Amazon went and charged me tax. Now Roger does cover how to uh, take care of the tax by adding a little bit more profit, but on some items that may not be possible. So what I want to do is help you guys cover all bases on taxes, set up a tax table in the eBay uh, in your eBay account, and make sure that every item that has a proper tax that should be charged by Amazon, you actually get paid on eBay the tax, and you don't have to worry about uh, overpaying or uh, not making any profit on an item. Uh, and and this will help you out. I mean, I had an item the other day that I ended up I ended up actually paying 18 cents on. Uh, and and that kind of uh, got me to the point where I got to where I am now. So let me help you guys out. First thing you want to do is go to your eBay account. And I'm going to show you starting from a listing that I have right here, which is uh, it's a dog carrier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in. I'm going to just revise my item just so you guys can see where you're at when you're setting things up. First off, and you go to revise your item, and down at the bottom right here on your item settings, you get all your stuff that you get set up. Uh, and at the bottom it's going to tell you you know about your shipping which you're gonna have right here and then it's also going to tell you about sales tax okay and where you want to look at is you want to make sure that uh, you're gonna have to set the thing I'm gonna show you up first so I'm just gonna show you where it's at right here which is sales tax according to sales tax table now you want to do a sales tax table now if you're here you can actually click view sales tax table and it's going to take you straight to this table right here. But let me real quickly show you guys how to get to the tax table so you can set this up first straight from your account. So what you're going to do is you're going to actually go to my eBay and then you're going to go to account. Okay. And then you're going to go to site preferences right here. And if you scroll down on site preferences, you're going to see use sales tax table right here. All you can do is click edit and you'll click edit right there and you're going to see the states. Now what I did to simplify this for you guys is that there's 12 states that actually charge sales tax on the internet. And what I did was I went to all 12 states and you guys, if you want to verify this and do it yourself and take all that time, you can go ahead, but I don't suggest it because I've already done the research for you. Uh, and you just go right down. I want you to see my sales tax. I'm going to scroll down on each one of them. But all you need to do is, for example, Alabama has no tax. Alaska has no tax. Uh, American Samoa we're not sending anything to, so don't worry about that. You keep making sure you're keeping everything inside the lower 48 states. And then you go to Arizona. Arizona has a 7% tax, uh, so that's going to be the highest tax across the board. Get Make sure you get the highest tax. That's 7%. California is 7.5%. So you want to make sure you're going and putting these in. Just basically, I'll put in Arizona's again, 7.0, hit enter, and it's going to, and what it do. Okay, hold on again a second, guys. Of course, it's it, you can see that it's real, that I'm not playing around, and, and you see I can make mistakes too. You go in and put in your sales tax rate, which would be right here, 7.0.0. Okay, and then you just tab down to your next one. Um, and then you're going to go into California and all you want to do is put these ones in. So I'm going to go over them real quick so you have them. I want you guys to either take notes on this real quick so you can just go to your sales tax uh, table and you can just enter these in. So you get Arizona at 7%, California at 7.5%, you've got Connecticut at 6.35% and if you want to make it just 6.5% you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to actually do that right now for, for that reason. 6.5 that just kind of covers you a little bit better um, you get Florida put 6% in Florida if you guys are in Florida make sure you're collecting tax in Florida there is no internet tax in Florida but if you're selling inside the state you're gonna get hit with the tax so charge that for that uh, Georgia is 8% then all the way down to Kansas Kansas is 8.5% Kentucky 6% Massachusetts 6.25% uh, and then you've got New Jersey, which is 7%. New York, which is 8%. North Dakota, 5%. Pennsylvania, 6%. Texas, 825 Virginia is 6%. 
Washington, that great state up in the northwest, charges the most amount of tax, 9.5%. So think about that, guys. If you sold a $100 item on uh, Amazon, on, on eBay, I should say, and you went and bought it on Amazon, when you buy it, uh, they're going to charge you almost a 10% tax. A $100 item is going to be $9.50 that you're going to pay. Uh, if you built in a, say, a 5 or a $10 profit into your item after eBay fees, which on $100 is, you know, 10%. So that's 10 bucks. Um, now you're down to $90. And if you lost that $10, which you didn't put the tax, you're at a $10 deficit. So I want to, you know, explain to you why this is so important to have these taxes in here. When you're looking at Washington at 9.5, that's $9.50 you can lose. Here you're making up for it. And you're making sure you're covered and you don't lose your profit that you built into the item. Uh, so, you know, that shows you. Back to the tax, uh, Back to it all, you get uh, West Virginia at 7% and then you get Wisconsin at 5.5, so 5.5. So real quick, I'm going to just go over that one more time for you guys. 7, just, you know, just real, look real quick, 7, 7.5, 7 6.5, you know, as you're going down, I'm going to scroll it just real quick one more time so you guys have it. But like I said, take notes and you guys can pause this and put it in uh, as you go. Then just click save right here, simple as that. It's going to then take you back to... Uh, your your preferences and what I do now is I'm just going to go up to my eBay I'm going to go to all selling right here. I'm going to go back to that item that we just showed you Okay, and I'm going to open it up real quick so we can show you how to do that I um, mean if you've listed something that you have not gone to your tax table This is how you basically go in and, and fix it. Here's the Bergen uh, the pet carrier that I've got right here I'm going to click on that and it's going to bring me back to my item as you see that. And then what I'm just going to do is click revise item right here. Revise your item. And this is a way that if you want to, if you haven't sold your item, you want to change the title. If uh, you want to change the price for whatever reason, you can go ahead and do that by hitting revise item. If you want to add quantity, you can add, you do that right there. And I'm going to scroll back down uh, to my tax table. And you're going to see that at that point, now what you're going to do is you're going to click this box right here that says charge sales tax according to the sales tax tax table. Make sure that's on every item, that way you're covered. Simple as that, hit continue. And it takes a few seconds with my nice, great computer. And hit submit revisions. And then you should probably get an email at that point from eBay stating that uh, they just got your revision of your item. And you can look at your pet carrier right here and you see that it's there, but what you want to do is just double check it, is that you go into uh, your listing, and it will show you shipping and payments right here, and then as you see right here, that item location, and it says free shipping, uh, and I should tell you the taxes, here, right here, seller charges, sales tax, and multiple states, right here. It tells you exactly what goes on with that, uh, and take care of that. I'm also looking at right here, and I want to. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you how to fix this too, just real quick. You should have done this before in Roger's training, but I'm noticing it on my item for some reason. So let's go real back. We're gonna go to revise your item again, and I'm gonna scroll down to my shipping. And add shipping details, add or remove, click right there. Uh, excuse me, I want to go to exceptions. Let me cancel that out. I'm going to go to exceptions, exclude shipping locations, create an exclusion list right here. And click all of these. For whatever reason, I clicked them on the other ones, but they're not clicked. But click all these because you're not shipping to any of these places. North America, that includes Canada and also Mexico. So you want to click that because we're not shipping there. We're shipping inside the lower 48 states. So click all of those and additional PO box locations we're not going to send to either. Hit apply. And now my list excludes all of those. So that's great. I'm now got that taken care of. And I'm back to my listing, and I'm going to go hit save again, continue. So you see how that was done? We excluded all of those places. Should be done when you first set it up, and all your items should already be excluded. But sometimes, uh, you know, they make mistakes, and you want to make sure that no one is buying from those locations because that's going to cost you an awful lot in shipping. And then you're going to just come down and 
hit submit revisions. And boom, there's your item all set. Let's go back to it real quick and check it one more time. And we'll show you that everything should be all set. Back down to uh, shipping and payments. And you're gonna see that we sell to charge sales tax in multiple states. And also that we exclude Alaska, Hawaii, US uh, protectories, PO boxes and postal PO boxes. So it's all set, you got it taken care of, you're great, ready to go, and now we're ready to sell this uh, item right here for $32.95 and make about an $8 profit on it. So great, that's how it works. I hope this helps you guys out, uh, saves you a lot of time. If you've got any questions, you guys know how to get a hold of me. This is Howard Barr, and you guys have a great day, and uh, make sure you're out there selling and posting every day. Take care, guys.